Carl's 10 inch cast iron pre seasoned yes. key pre underlined yes. griddle, and then you have the grill press with it. This is such a great value because you get the grill press. Usually that's not included, Correct. usually it's something extra. And I know our customers for Kitchen Unlimited love when they get a grill press. Yes. So tell me about your, well, your set here. Three colors okay. red, gray, and the copper. And the copper is beautiful. And you can see how. Every kitchen should have this. Yeah. And this is so used in my house mm -hmm. because I do salmon, I do fish. Okay. You can do shrimp. Uh, I take, uh, at times, I'll do asparagus. Okay. Uh, different vegetables on here. Now, you need to heat up the press separately. Okay. All right. As we did there. Okay. So, one side's a griddle. Yeah. One side's a grill. Let me show grill. you because I don't want to touch the hot ones. Yep. But, um, and I'll take the lid off. So, you get the lid. Of course, which has the grill marks on it as well. And then this is both. So, uh, again, usually when you buy something like this, you got to pick do I want a griddle or do I want a grill? This one's both. Ta da! So, you've thought of everything and you get the press. You also get some recipes. So, it's a really nice set. All right, so let me come back around so here. So, if you want to use the press, and this, is, this has got some weight to it, mm -hmm. you can press it. For this particular application, mm -hmm. with uh, that I have a ribeye steak, okay. and you can see you can probably fit about four steaks on there. Sure. This uh, here now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the griddle side, and I'm going to just make a press sandwich. Okay. And. And that's two big sandwiches that'll fit yes. on there too. Again, the square. We were talking about that earlier. Yes. The advantages to having a square pan. You can fit more food. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then you you can see now how the application, you can press it, mm -hmm. and it is pressing. Yeah. Okay. That's a heavy press. Lid. That is a heavy press. Is right. Mm -hmm. Now, what you want to do? Let's make sure we're good here, and we're good here. That was a lot hotter than I thought it was. So, we'll take that off since we got so much heat on there. Okay. Watch this. I got marinated lamb chops. Lamb chops. Mmm, that looks good too. So why uh, why do you people? Well, for, let's talk about first cast iron. Okay. So, so why cast is that iron important? has it gets so much heat and can take so much heat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put it in a fireplace. Mm -hmm. You can bring it to your your camp. Mm -hmm. you yeah, this pan will actually go on a campfire, not the gr not the press, right. but the pan exactly. can go on a campfire if you want it to. Because cast iron just it holds so much heat and you can you mm -hmm. can apply so much heat to mm -hmm. it. That's the great thing about it. Yeah. And and the thing is is like the application as you can see the different uses for it. So right. let, let me ask you this. So this is pre-seasoned. That's right. So tell me the Very advantage important. to that. So when it comes to your house, mm -hmm. it's pre-seasoned. In the old days with cast iron, you had to season them. How much salt? How long mm -hmm. do I do it for? Mm -hmm. This comes pre-seasoned. Now, what I love about this is the cleanability. All you need to do, don't put it in the dishwasher. Okay. If you need to soak it, you can soak it in okay. mild soapy water. Okay. Dry it properly. Okay. Dry it properly, very important. Okay. And at every other use, I take a little bit of vegetable oil count. Okay. And I just rub a little bit of vegetable oil in it. So it's nothing tricky. No. Uh, but this is genuine cast iron, so you are going to uh, not put it in the dishwasher. It's not, the today's special value is something totally different because it's got nonstick coating on it. Right. So this one is traditional cast iron, but pre seasoned, yes. which is important. And also, you get both the griddle and the grill. They, they flip over, they're reversible. Exactly. So you, so if you, you get wanna, two pans in one. Exactly. So if you want to just mm -hmm. do rashes of bacon or sausage, or even if mm -hmm. you wanted to do eggs here on the, uh -huh. on the griddle side right. of it. And then also you got the amazing, and look, I didn't use a lot of oil. That's hardly any no, oil. No, no, that looks all. so good. This can go in the oven. This can also go on your stovetop, and the pan itself can also go on the uh, campfire if you wanted to. And then the press itself will go in both the oven and on the stovetop as well. So Oversized look. handles make yep. this easy to turn and, and move it. Very important. And then um, the square surface really gives you a lot of cooking space. Right. So those of you that love to cook with high heat, mm -hmm. this is the pan for you. Cast iron's the way to go. Okay, this is not light. Yeah. Okay. This is traditional this cast is, iron. This is traditional cast iron. There's, there's some weight, especially to the press, 
which comes along with it. Now, Frank is telling me there's not many of these left to go around. And your update on what colors, Frank? We have fewer than 200 left in each color. So let me show you the colors again. They're down here in the front. We have this beautiful copper, with kind of a butterscotchy color. Then we have it for you in the gray. That'll work great with your stainless steel. And then down at the other end is the red. And then I will show you that Emerald has provided you with some recipes to get you started. That's right. So we have vegetable quesadilla with a guacamole and sour cream. And we also have pepperoni and fresh mozzarella panini. So you're going to get both of those recipe cards from Emerald along with your pans. So look at that. So you can see the beautiful caramelization that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. And that's, and, and again, I'm not really cooking. I'm in the studio. I'm not cooking mm -hmm. over high, high heat. Right. Right? Because right. of, uh, you know, what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And you can see just the marks of that. And the release of that steak, once it gets to the right temperature, is so easy. While it's sticking, that means it's not time to turn it yet. Correct. 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 So uh, pre-seasoned, again, you want to make sure that you, let's clean it in some soapy water. Dry uh, it really make well. Make sure you dry it. Right. And then put Mild a little. Mild soapy water, dry it really good. And then every other uh, time you use it, a little bit of vegetable oil, just rub that, and it'll last forever. Yes, it'll great. last forever. And you get the press. So it's like getting two pans and a press, under $50, three easy payments of $16.66. We're very limited now in what we have. It's the first time we've offered free shipping. Thank you, Thank Chef Emerald. Thanks Are you so back much. tonight with David? I'm back tonight with David okay. with my awesome air fryer. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. All right, good. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. in. Thanks so much. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back to the big board and take a peek at my Facebook page, Carolyn Gracie QVC. We're asking you to post your photos of something pretty for fall in your kitchen or tell us your favorite comfort food recipe. Shady says, oh, Shady Corvette. Ooh, I like that car. She says, my comfort food is scalloped potatoes. I make them quite often in my mom's old corningware. I remember corningware. That's some good cookware as well. I'm sorry, but those scalloped potatoes look delicious. Yum. I would peel all that burnt part off and eat that too. That looks really good. Dennis says cabbage stew, Dieter's soup, detox soup. It has many names. Anyway, he's made some in his new six quart cooks essentials pressure cooker. Oh, that looks nice and that looks delicious and super healthy. Thanks for sharing that, Dennis. And then Mary says when I think of fall comfort foods, I think of pork roast and sauerkraut. Mmm. Yum! And look at those potatoes and asparagus. That looks delicious. And then Miranda says, I love my fall temptations. Look at her beautiful display. Oh, that is a gorgeous piece of furniture, too. Very nice. Thank you so much for sharing. And we are streaming live on Facebook, so please compliment each other's photographs and again, tell each other your favorite fall comfort food recipes. Thanks so much for shopping along while you're streaming live. A lot of you have said you like the live streams because now you can take them with you on the go and still watch the show when you're not at home or stuck in front of your computer. That's why we stream live on Facebook. All right, so we're gonna come over here. Oh, is it time for something for cats? All right, so first of all, this lovely young lady is the Pillsbury Bake Off winner and is a food blogger.